hello everyone, here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday. And this one's on what you're looking at, the Imperial V-Wing and Sith Nightspeeder from 2011, of course. So in the front of this manual, here we have a picture of the V-Wing flying above Mustafar and the LEGO Star Wars logos and the border that there was for the time since uh, summer 2010 carried on to 2011 with the blue Captain Rex border, of course. Then choking hazard and set number 7915. And then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And after Lego Club, common thing from the time. And also after Ninjako with the first spinner set. That's of course. And then add for some of the other sets that were in those two of which was, was last last throwback Thursday and also that one of which one of two for next next throwback Thursday of course and and of course and then a little promotional poster and those two sets expect for a upcoming throwback kind of soon throwback Thursday as well but yeah and then Showing the features of the V-Wing and also the two minifigs included with it. And then the pieces that come with the set and final building steps. And so now on to the minifigs included. First, I have an Imperial Pilot. Who always has his torso printing, kind of similar to most uh, TIE Fighter Pilot kind of ones, and also the helmet piece of which, same as we had with most clone troopers and clone pilots that there were from about 2005 and uh, now. Or no way, from 2010, the year prior, carried on to here, where it's, it's all like this, and also the rest is a face printing. But of course, this one's decked out with the Imperials uh, symbols, or Empire symbols on there. And of course, if this were done nowadays, it would be all one single helmet piece, of course. And the next big up is the is R2Q2 and both of these which are all exclusive to this uh, one set of course so kind of interesting how it was but however the printing's the same as all other astromech droid sets but but also looks really good but also quite cool to see in silver of course now in the head printing also done quite well there and now on to the figs for the Sith Nightspeeder I was starting with the only exclusive one being Savage Opress, which the uh, face printing and headpiece kind of similar, but also the same as Darth Maul's, but in, instead done in yellow. Kind of cool and nice to see there. But however, his, on his torso piece, it does have the kind of armor piecing piece for uh, most football players that are included in collectible minifig series, but kind of nice to see it with this interesting printing on there and of course wielding both a battle axe and a double-headed lightsaber or also like Darth Maul did and also what's kind of off with this figure is that the headpiece is a lighter yellow than the face print like we see on some later figs as well but aside from that still nice to see here but yeah and next which have Anakin Skywalker, uh, which kind of the same that came in a few other sets since 2008, and then probably carried on, and then carried on until late 2014, so quite common there. And then last of which is an exclusive variant of, uh, of Savage Opress, the uh, face printing just the same as from the 2008 Republic gunship set, but however the torso printing, leg printing, of uh, which all exclusive to this one. Mm, uh, yeah. But of course, the uh, lightsaber hilts 
just the same ad, just the same from that Zetic and a couple others. And then flip to the back of both of them. Back head printing also the same as previous sets. And as you see, the back torso printing on all of which kind of minimalistic, since fig and also kind of simplish since they're all earlier figs. But as for Sith Knight Spear, nice to have some have an exclusive variant and also an exclusive fig to it. Which, like how most sets tend to have, but yeah. And that is about it with the figs. And now on to the first one of the sets is the Imperial V-Wing. And of course, which does look kind of similar to the uh, 2006 V-Wing and also a little bit as much as the 2014 V-Wing, but of course black and light gray to fit the Empire, which, but of course this which is for Expanded Universe, but we do see plenty of Imperial V-Wings going on in the Bad Batch, of course. Although you can have it for that, of course. So now, as for the, for the front nose part of it, Which I see is just made with a couple of long wedge plates and also one of those long slopes with a large long sticker on it. And of course. And then like further up has another wedge in the other direct direction, but the shaping of which done quite well, except for in this area, which not so airtight, because if someone was flying in this and not wearing a spacesuit, they would suffocate immediately. Like, of course, underneath the witch does have a few other plates going on to it, and also an inverted slope there, and a clear uh, cylinder brick piece. But say that if it weren't there, then it would just flop right down. So that it, of course, kind of helps, but although it do doesn't need to exactly be clear, but also. I think what could have been better is just add in a few extra clip pieces and or ratchet joint pieces and make it a piece of landing gear to go in there. Just like all X wings, attend X wings and uh, what is it? Uh, y wings and A wings usually tend to do. And then onto the wing segments, which again, like the other two, are. Uh, wedge plates on a couple hinges and also holding in the center an imperial symbol there. And of course, and also do have a couple in, uh, jagged slopes as back part wings. And as for this back segment, it does have a couple of invert flaps that go in and outwards, and also having yet another imperial empire symbol on there. And as for the back side, has a couple of engine boosts to do so, and also a little gear on it, which is for the main feature. And well, however, the other side of which has kind of a technic uh, wedge piece to it, probably to show that it, how it goes like. Like basically, you turn on that and turn the gear, and makes the wings fold upwards. And there it is in its flight mode. And of course, these extra cones that you saw as landing gear also acting as blasters. So, kind of good use there. But also forgot to mention the canopy piece, which kind of reused from a lot of sets, of course. So, you can like flip open, and then there's a little uh, brown chair bit, but not at all a control panel to it. Although, it would have been great if we could figure out how to do so. But also, a good thing enough space to fit your Imperial Pilot minifig into and close it over and like so. And as and what to do with the astromech droid is like the other two V-Wings, just 
uh, pop the headpiece off and uh, attach it onto there. I still wish they could. There should be like a little that there should be a hall space in there to fit it into it, like all X wings and Y wings tend to do. But hopefully, if they ever do another uh, V-wing set, I'd expect that. Uh, but yeah, and that is it with the V-wing, Imperial V-wing, and now on to the Sith Knight Speeder. So, another quite interesting and unique ship that we never got to see any other remakes of or anything. And of course, this which kind of triple header one, which is kind of unique and different for that. But and why it's two of which, which we'll see later. So now, first bit of which is that is actually three spears that you can slide right off like that. As I take those two out of the way. So as for this one speeder is does look kinda like any like a traditional like the kind of speeder bike that Darth Maul had in episode one, of course. Then of course comprises mostly like just on one single uh, by one plate and also a few jagged slopes going in both directions for that and also a larger jagged slope on top of it which where this where it's mostly printed but the tile of which is a uh, stickered kind of interesting how that is although I think it should have also been printed for that And then onto the seat part of which right here. Which not at all any studs to it. So and as for the handlebar section, which is where you can let your mini thing grab on to or so as will press mini thing go on to and ride on it like so. Since although it wouldn't be nice if what I think would be better is if the seat was a little wider and have studs to sit a mini thing on, sit the mini thing on to, of course. And also not at all a single spot to put the act put the weapons on to like most sets tend to do. Although I think if this were done nowadays, it would they probably include that. But like the front part which which has a a little printed a uh, small tile piece and a couple a uh, cheese slopes so on, on top of, and also on the sides of it there. So then as for the rest of the night speeder, which is this bottom part of which comprises of mostly like wedge plates and, and so on, but also a couple of foot fire missiles to do so, which was a of course the usual common feature for the time. And of course, on top of which most does have the like usual uh, grill pieces in dark brown, of course. But as for this side cannon kind of bit, which does have another one of the jagged slopes as well, and but also the large uh, slope right here, and also another one which are all stickered, of course. But when it's print tile printed again, but then other side of which also like that but also but with two large slopes on the sides and also like the two speeders it does on just singles uh, slopes of course an interesting thing is what this cone is for is press on that press on that and launches another foot fire missile out of it also kind of interesting how Two flip fire missiles are the same, but one of which is a little different. But, and now, and to put the uh, spears back on is with the lower part of which, which is with the tile on there, where you can slide it onto there like so. Uh, 
Okay. Now. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for the time, both of which being at twenty dollars for that. Like of course, have yet another like and also good size for the price points. Well, if adjusted with inflation, would be around three dollars for each of them. But even though the night speeder always didn't get much attention at the time, but at least still kind of good, even though it did get marked down eventually. But also, and of course, as for the Sith Night Speeder, great to have both an exclusive variant of a minifig and also also great to have an exclusive one of Savage Opress, which another of Darth Maul's kind of race for them. So he's quite glad to see that. And hopefully someday he'll get both of which will get to be in sets again. Who knows? But also kind of, you know, with Anakin Skywalker, kind of repetitive for it, but at least, but of course, one of the main characters of the Clone Wars. But as for the V-Wing, nice to have something from from, above, from Expanded Universe like we had with the TIE Crawler and so on. And also, and hopefully, if now if the, that was ever to be remade for whatever reason, the Bat Batch would be the perfect opportunity to do so. Yeah. And also, it also does have kind of the same problems as the other V Wing sets, but if if it were made now, I expect it to be a little bit better, of course. And also, nice to see. And also, both of which do work out as good parts packs of like light gray and black, and also light and dark gray and brown, of course. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, BrickClink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.